Here you can see the first time I fed uh, LG to my Blue Star Endlers. I always give any new food at a regular feeding time. You can see Endlers swimming by searching for regular fish food flakes they usually would get. Ok, let's drop the LG down and let it sink. Either fish or snails will find the need the LG later. Meantime, let's try feeding in another aquarium. I drop the LG in one of my 3 liter aquarium jars. And here you can see, oh, big mama goes for LG in full force. Younger fish nibble on LG too. Here the queen returns and all other fish have to move away from her LG. Yep, the queens rule it all in Endlers and Guppy societies too. All other fish may have some slice or crumble after the queen leaves. I use H declarinated tap water for refilling my aquariums. Add cold tap water in the glass jar. Do not wash the jar between refills. Leave the jar open for chlorine to evaporate. I keep the jar by the aquarium. Common green algae grows faster when exposed to more sunlight. Give it a month or so and you will see green algae growing on the glass. The water is crystal clear. The walls covered in the green algae makes it look green. I normally empty the jar with whatever green algae floats right in the aquarium. Fish and creatures will find the algae and eat it at their leisure. Or we can swipe the film of the green algae off the walls. Notice, only the green algae is good for feeding fish and creatures. Fish don't like brown algae that grows in low light. The film of algae is made of single algae cells you can see in drops of water here. Common green algae is healthy, protein rich food for fish fry and all kind of tiny creatures. Algae is fundamental part of the food chain. It's more than power food. Algae is the most efficient and resilient filter known in this world. I'm going to tease my fish a little bit, let them chase it. I cultivate algae in every aquarium. It is important to control algae growth to prevent algae bloom. Avoid overfeeding your fish and grow land plants with roots and water. Those are the most efficient ways of preventing algae blooms. There are different ways of growing algae for feeding fish. Double walled aquariums is one of the ways I use to grow algae. And uh, algae scrubbers, the best man-made filters that utilize the algae natural power to filter water. Algae scrubber filters come in sizes suitable for any aquarium or pond. Well, I have videos for you to check about all those filters and algae control for more details. Back to the feeding fish. Fresh algae is a very healthy food fish enjoy. Growing algae the way I do it in the refill jar cost me nothing. There is literally no maintenance or any time wasting. And the main thing, fish love fresh green algae food. Have fun and happy fish!